Glory to God. Brothers and sisters, I have a quick and yet powerful word of encouragement to somebody who's watching me right now. To somebody who's struggling right now. To someone who's in pain right now. To someone who's confused right now. This word is right for you. This is a word that is going to uplift you. This is the word that is going to help you out in your situation. My brothers and sisters, the word of encouragement that I have for you is they better rethink whatever they are planning to do. Who are they that I'm talking about? The ones that I'm talking about are your enemies, your haters, narcissists, those that have plotted destruction against your family, against you. They better rethink what they are planning to do because they do not know who exactly they are attacking. They don't know exactly how strong you are. And some of you, my, my brothers and sisters, you may not even know how strong you are. You may think that you are a weakling. You may think that you are a nobody. You may think that you are just somebody just there. But you are not a nobody. You are in Christ Jesus right now. And if you are in Christ Jesus, you are now a new creation. That means your rank has now gone up. You are no longer a weakling. Brothers and sisters, I want to give you a, 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 a remind you a scripture of Gideon, of how Gideon thought that he was a weakling. I always talk about this scripture to remind you that you are, an, you, you, you are somebody, that you are strong in Christ Jesus. Gideon thought that he was a weakling. Gideon thought that he was a nobody. Gideon, in fact, thought that his family was the weakest. He grew up with a lie for his entire life. But when he had an encounter with the angel of the Lord, the angel of the Lord revealed to him who he was. And the angel of the Lord said that he was a mighty man of valor. The angel of the Lord even told him that he was the one going to deliver his nation. Some of you, you are family deliverers. Some of you, you are mighty men and women of valor. So don't allow the light affliction to blind your eyes. Don't allow this storm to cloud your mind. Brothers and sisters, they better rethink what they are planning to do. Your enemies have surrounded you, but they don't know exactly how strong you are. They don't know. Scripture says, eyes have not seen, nor ears have heard what the Lord has prepared for those that love Him. They think they know exactly who you are. They think that they have seen it all, but they have not yet seen. They do not know how powerful you are. Your power, the power that is in Christ Jesus, that is in you right now, that is residing in you, can destroy your enemies. They just don't know it. I would um, remind you of how Samson was attacked by the Philistines. He was attacked by the Philistines, but one man was able to defeat an entire army. One man was able to defeat them. Brothers and sisters, your strength does not come from your money. Your strength does not come from your job or your bosses. Your strength does not come from your family, but your strength comes from God. Scripture says, in him we move live and have our being god gives you strength to move god has given you strength to breathe brothers and sisters another instance i would like to remind you is of pharaoh who attacked the children of israel remember after pharaoh had let go of the children of israel and the children of israel were in the wilderness uh, Pharaoh realized that he had made a mistake. He realized that he had lost something that is valuable. So Pharaoh and his army came after the children of Israel in full force. But notice that when you read the scripture, that God protected the children of Israel, that in front of them was the sea and behind of them was Pharaoh. So Moses was able to part the sea. 
and the children of Israel were able to move on dry ground in the middle of the sea. When Pharaoh was coming, when Pharaoh reached, he drowned. All his army were killed. Brothers and sisters, they are trying to chase after you. They are trying to pursue you, not knowing that they are falling into a trap. They are not going to handle you. That's why you see, they better rethink what they are planning to do. There are some that have taken you to courts of law. There are some that, that have accused you falsely. There are some that have put witchcraft on you. But that thing is going to backfire. This is a word for someone who is watching me right now. Brothers and sisters, I have come to the end of this message. And until next time, may God bless you.